Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Coach Tyson from Oxstrand, and we're officially five weeks out from the competition and four weeks by the time you are watching and we're really, really creeping up uh, to the PR territory uh, now that we're closing off the meet. So Coach Sangha Bianan Kura Baitya, so this week is like the last week of accumulation. Uh, next week is going to be like a slight uh, deload and then we pick up uh, for three weeks. But as uh, a session, as you guys know, primary squat and the lightest bench of the week. RPE 8.5 the top sets. I was thinking about how much I was doing last week. 265 around the 8th year. So I basically took the same warm ups and because like warm up too close, close got they go when it becomes too fatiguing. So last week, exact same uh, warm up pattern. And you like the trend in the past four weeks, a uh, warm up is moving faster and faster and faster. So as I go last warm up, uh, 250 kgs. Uh, last week it was a 0.36, this week it was a point. Uh, three seven, so it, it, it's definitely faster than last week. Pandu uh, like how I felt when he, uh, coming into the session, I felt a little bit better uh, than the last two weeks because last both last two weeks, when I gained a significant amount of weight from which my leverages uh, were a bit off bell size. But then I think the third week, say uh, we've adapted perfectly. And warm up, when felt uh, light, like how. Video ma jostu dekhsa teste ne feel bhaya normally video ma likati fast dekhsa ni mentally jo likati slow feel unsa so we decided we want to push it a little bit so we loaded up 270 kgs for today's top set and it absolutely flew not faster than last week 0.29 the last week pani and yo week pani 0.29 nesa so 5 kg increment but at the same speed and rated this set an RPE 8. And what we were also noticing is like descent speed or ma a little more confidence on I think a spotter loader bina pani first time ne got a go your weight. So it was a quite a successful attempt ne bonsu and now we just have to bring the same level of performance in the peak and hopefully add on to this. This was the back off work one set of three with 245 kgs which uh, it's not a PR, made a 245 into 4 a PR, but uh, it moved alright. Ali got the foot placement, Galti, Vajasto, Boy, right there, but uh, it was alright, it was alright. Moved uh, like an 8, and we moved on with the back of work, two sets of 3 with, uh, what do you say, 227.5 uh, kgs, exactly the same uh, as last week. And as I was like, top sets are so rewarding, too. Back of Garda, uh, I was a bit like uh, slacking off, but uh, just got the volume in and uh, overall, I think day one go your whole last four weeks are best uh, day one. And yeah, things are starting to get interesting. Uh, like always, we're projecting around uh, 692 uh, kilo total for this week. Hopefully, everything goes as planned and I feel recovered. In the last week, go problems are early, early uh, tweaking, got it, uh, improve on the whole week. So yeah, I will see you guys on day two with uh, primary bench and secondary deadlift heavy triple deadlift all right guys done with day two of training and uh, quite happy with today's outcome uh, both on the bench press and uh, the deadlift and so much so for the bench press because it's made a weaker lift and uh, two years by say again 140 almost two years but i'm not only one year by 145 uh, got a got one year uh, one year complete by and the whole last year we were Reinventing the bench press, so we took uh, many steps back because made a 145 got I wouldn't find a proper range at the chest uh, area. And this was the press got that carry. Absolutely, a problem or a boy near that. And the whole last year, but this to this day, boy, I think training we're trying so many different things. And in one session, I'm rowing, and in Perry, we tried to do the same thing, it doesn't work. We try a new programming method, new accessory, it doesn't work. And in Perry, what I did, I'm rowing, it gives hope. And Perry, next week, same weight in that carry, uh, weight off by that. I think this was more so for like 132, 135, but higher range one. But then like the volume works, they made a drastically improved by that. Any problems face got So I think this is the only block where I've been able to progress at a steady linear pace. So 137, 140, 142 as a go. Uh, top set, and I'm extremely, extremely happy and pleased with how everything went. From the warm up uh, sets, only 137 got it. It actually felt like uh, RPE 7, 7.5, and I was like, oh shit, this could be like a meat opener uh, sort of a range. And if I get stronger, I could probably even open with 140 if I'm confident and the trend continues, you know. <clears throat> and this was 142 got it. It's a bit more nerves kicked in because I haven't done 140 after last year, I mock meet 
the Pachi 140 was a Mathi Wait got it, China. So I was a bit scared, but then like uh, as I unracked the bar I knew it was really really light. On a hips bunny on the bench, I think I could have paused it a bit longer if needed. So that moved like how it did, as you guys can see. So extremely happy with the outcome and I hope we could continue this positive uh, trend uh, for a few more weeks and hopefully we can land around 150 which would be uh, a good place for me to be. Uh, this was the back off work too, uh, 3 sets of 3 with 132.5 and again I was able to keep my rapes down, uh, find good range. I was a little longer rest time because uh, my shoulders, tricep, chest, everything were getting uh, really pumped because I haven't uh, experienced or felt this weight or volume uh, in a long time. But I think bench overall was really, really uh, nice. And yeah, moving on, this was the deadlift still. And deadlift, college, I've been excited for deadlifts the entire block. I think I'm always looking forward to the next uh, deadlift workout. I am already looking forward to the next uh, deadlift workout on Friday. But uh, deadlift match, uh, as uh, we tried a few different things because made last week 275, 270 got the hit. It looked a bit more back dominant one. Uh, that's according to my coach. And when I reviewed the footage too, I looked very extension dominant uh, deadlifter. So we were trying to utilize the glutes more. So we changed one accessory on the other day uh, to activate the hamstring and glutes more so that it becomes more leg dominant. Uh, but then as a warm up company, we were doing uh, pause singles up to RPE 6. And in my head, sort of, I already wanted to do uh, 270 for a triple. And I think I couldn't, uh, I would do it even if I didn't uh, feel that good. So 255 Pachi directly, we jumped to 270 kgs and it moved like it moved. When the first step got the hit, it looked so easy, but then like, I think I tend to push the bar away from me after the first step. Uh, for some reason, I have a quads leg or lap on you, but uh, it's just positional issue. The first step is too easy, boy. I didn't bother about uh, pulling the second rep. Uh, from a good position so i just pulled it up and then it slowed down a little bit so third rep my new oh shit lock i would say then uh, i'll be able to pull it one and it was uh, it was nice uh, quite easily done uh, for 270 and that's a uh, massive pr i've attempted 270 for a triple in the past but i failed <laughs> after the second rep like third rep attempt i got to close you but uh, this is a big personal best for me and yeah, back of work, 3 sets 3, uh, 240 kgs. Now, only got the overshoot boy, so only got the overshoot. I would still rate this an RP9, but only got the uh, overshoot boy. So, so I think about the squat workout on day 3, so only got the uh, compromise. And I, I hope, I think last week could try and follow, so I'll feel like uh, garbage on that day, but uh, you're looking forward to dealing with it. And uh, yeah, so see you guys on day 3. All right, guys, uh, done with day three of training and yeah, in the office doing some work, but I feel a bit uh, under the weather today and it's been really, really strange uh, the last few months because in the last two months, I, I've fallen sick twice already. I mean, this is the third time. But like, uh, just feeling a bit too fatigued, uh, overreached, overtrained. Khalke by Razari, the weather is also changing. It's getting pretty, pretty cold here. Ani, yeah, not feeling the strongest. Ani, day three, uh, last week, pani, ali gadna, amre feel ani, uh, it was to be expected. Pani, I'm not gonna feel uh, that strong or fresh for this workout uh, because last week, ko vanda, uh, your week, ko day two was much, much, much harder. And I think the 270 took a lot out of me. Unajay, abo recovery wise, sleep, uh, nutrition. Uh, why it's been really really good but I don't know something's uh, up and I think it's just uh, too much uh, fatigue and stress overall but I was ready for this workout last week when yesterday boy in the as you guys know honey uh, your workout match uh, I didn't have any expectation I basically just wanted to do the same as last week kurama but as a workout it felt better than how I anticipated because okay? so I, I thought in my head it's going to be uh, so much more worse I like shit feel just like it but it felt a lot better on the back of work since it was expected we had adjusted a little bit of more percentage uh, drop in the back downs and uh, it was more like a recovery deload uh, sort of a workout so top set 245 
I think a little bit better than last week. Last week I rated it a 6.5. Uh, this week I could give it a solid 5.5 or a 6. So uh, a bit better on that end. On the back of match, we went down 10 kg. So 215 and 200 kg. One set of four and two sets of four uh, respectively. And bench too, like under all this fatigue. On the, my what is this? I think so many different Sunni Rao Ali Gati. Uh, bench money considering everything that's been going around and we were able to best last week's performance at a similar RPE so top set 132.5 uh, lay single uh, around the 7 and 125 lay 4 around the 7 and two sets of 4 with 120 kgs and quite a productive uh, bench session as well and yeah that's about it for today uh, one of those bad bad days varumna uh, but a lot to learn from and uh, this day has been a trend and hopefully next week deload so on a deload match we can clear things up but regardless we uh, went to the workout wanting to do some work and got the job done okay back off clean a bit of a grind but that is to be expected when you're training so hard like every single day it's very push that your body I think my body is like, come on man, stop it, why does the feel why say but but we still got our foot on the gas and we're not stopping until we finish this week strong. And the test party say we will decide for next week deload later. Uh, three week peak because I I think uh, is gonna be the perfect uh, balance. So yeah, but yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, done with day four as well and what a day it was uh, coming into the workout. I was feeling really, really beat. I was feeling really beat. But uh, today, upon uh, waking up, my nose was completely blocked. And like, it was slow, everything was hurting, sort of a feel. And like, I wasn't expecting uh, much from the workout. But now, this session is going to be done. It's going to be done because I'm still uh, physically able to move. And the sickness isn't so much so that like it's affecting uh, my lungs are because uh, cardiovascular fitness man and it's just doing one or two reps three reps at most uh, and we came into the session not expecting uh, anything at all but uh, last week we uh, bench retake got it 130 for a top set and bench uh, back of 122 for a triple and three sets of three with 117 and up to this point I wasn't still feeling energized or pumped up like I was just uh, going through the motion but uh, uh, as I started to warm up for deadlift then I don't know the body started heat up and it was <coughs> like strong 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 feel and we had a uh, top set at RP8 I had the range around 277 uh, 282 285 uh, let's see if we could uh, push it but we don't want to overshoot because uh, deadlift but we've already learned the lesson uh, in terms of recovery my body is still like uh, completely fried from that so we were taking a similar type of warm-up, so 240 Lie. Uh, it moved a little bit better than last week, feeling-wise and speed-wise also. And a 257.5 after that, uh, which also moved better than last week's 257.5, like much better. So at this point, I knew it was going to be like a, a decent a decent day uh, for me for sure. So I was opener type of weight, I was going to be like a uh, 270 and 270 uh, shouldn't be a problem just to like it. we uh, had a top set at RP7 and I chose to do it with uh, 270 and this is when the switch uh, turned but I knew like I had a lot more in me today like I think I could do 295 just feel but I obviously would have overshot if it was any other day and I wasn't uh, feeling sick or like my nose running by but I would definitely overshoot it was one of those days I don't know uh, sometimes it just uh, the training is just on your favor even though you feel uh, worse, bad, I don't know, because it's 280 and uh, this will be like a really good uh, second attempt or maybe even slightly lighter uh, than a second attempt uh, number choose gare and we chose to do it with 280 kilos and it flew like one of the second best 280 has ever moved and uh, really 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 excited and happy with uh, the outcome of the deadlift and this was like made a body 
when they do crash mode, when they like, as a like, their body, it didn't have capacity. Now it's time to uh, shut it down. You need to rest. Type of feel where I think. But anyways, we were all training, and everybody was uh, feeling a bit beat. As a suppose, I'm not happy. That's why I mean, the gym mood is a little bit slow. How can I say? But we got done with the accessories, and yeah, done with the week. Uh, your video could take away is that um, I think uh, to just show up. Uh, just show up and it could uh, shock you sometimes because days are so like it's really 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 easy to make up an excuse to not train or just suit ne or rest or you won't even feel guilty about yourself because you are feeling bad as it is you know but what i try to do is just focus on what i can do and that was uh, to prep my meals from yesterday uh, take medicine or whatever and just be prepared uh, for the day and try to win every single minute every single second every single rep every single set and uh, good things should come and this wraps up this week's 692 kilo total which is very 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 uh, close to mero best attempts on all three lifts and i think this is like a second attempt uh, week like rp8 8.5 core range still and now we have a Much needed, much needed deload. Uh, next week, on the deload part, it will start to pick up because I think week three is where I uh, am the strongest. Week four, I'd say fatigue overtakes me, and meet to bell if I fall sick or something. We don't want that to happen. So week three, say, is my favorite week. So week three, go day one, I'd say meet to so. So that should be that should be uh, dangerous if everything comes into. Place and yeah, we will see you guys next week. Maybe not next week because deal or so. But if there's anything interesting, we'll uh, update you guys. And yeah, that's about it for today. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video. Last week I got some response on the hashtag. This week, what should we do? Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag driven. Let's do that. Hashtag driven. And we will see you in the next one.